the first feature of Victor Unified Client itself we're going to take a look at is the device discovery. You may have noticed in the device list on the left hand side we now have a tab called Discovered Devices. If I expand that out you can see that I have discovered Video Edge recorders and if I expand that out you can see that I currently have three Video Edge recorders on my network that I have already discovered. These are recorders that are on the network but are not currently added to Victor Client. If I right click on one of them you can see that there's some more options. I can choose to add it to Victor Client. I can choose to ignore it so that it won't appear in this list any longer or I can choose to refresh it. I'm going to go ahead and come out of this and we're going to take a look at the main device discovery window. So if I go over to the setup tab you'll see that there's a new button there called device discovery which opens the device discovery interface. The device discovery interface is divided into two tabs a recorders tab and a cameras tab. First of all if we take a look at the recorders tab it itself has two further tabs on it, a Discovered Recorders tab and an Ignored Recorders tab. And the Discovered Recorders tab lists those same three recorders that have been discovered on the network but are not yet added to Victor Client. We also have some buttons along the top here that allow us to add it to the client, ignore it so that it won't appear in this list but will appear in the other tab. We can also refresh and clear the list. If we select one of the recorders and select this button in the middle, we can also configure some username and password credentials. Important to note at this stage, if we had more than one recorder selected, we could batch edit the username and passwords for all the recorders that we had selected. I'm going to come out of this and I'm going to go ahead and add this recorder. I'm just going to click the green plus and expand my recorders folder. You'll see that is the one recorder that I already have on my system and the one we've just added has just come through. Okay, so let's move over to the Cameras tab then. And you'll see that it has my recorders that are on my system listed and it also has three further tabs down at the bottom. I'm going to select one of my recorders and we're going to take a look at these three tabs. The first one is the Discovered Cameras tab. This Discover Cameras tab lists all cameras that are on the network but are not currently configured to a recorder. The Configured Cameras tab lists all cameras that are already configured on the selected recorder. And the Ignored Cameras tab lists all cameras that we have chosen to ignore. Go back over to the Discover Cameras tab and select this camera. The buttons along the top allow me to add, add to the Ignored list by selecting the red X. You can also configure the IPs which we'll take a look at. I can do a camera group, I can refresh the list, I can clear the list and I can configure default associations. So if I select the IP button you'll see that I can configure the camera addresses right from Victor. I can choose to just use DHCP or I can choose to assign some static addresses. Go ahead and select static you'll see some further options appear and I can enter those options and assign them directly to the camera from Victor. Again, as with the recorders, if I had more than one selected, I would be able to batch edit the IPs from here. Go ahead and select this button. You can see that directly from Victor, we can now create password groups on this selected recorder or all the recorders.